somehow. Some of you guys may wonder why I have all the information that I do when it comes to anabolic steroids, losing weight, lifting weights in general, exercise, health, nutrition, and all of those things. The reason why is because over the last decade, I have lost hundreds of pounds of body fat, you guys. And not only have I lost hundreds of pounds of body fat, but I have ran more steroids and higher steroid cycles than most people probably ever will. Until this I was absolutely in love with the gym. And I still am, despite the fact that I don't go every day anymore, I don't train the way that I was training anymore. I was literally obsessed to a point where I treated it like a second job. I went years and years of my life never missing a single meal, never missing a single workout, never missing a single injection of PEDs if I was on some sort of cycle. I went years and years looking at other people, trying to model myself to look like those people, setting goals, trying to chase down uh, looking a certain way or you know, trying to look like a certain person or individual. I was literally much like you guys, super obsessed with the gym, the culture, everything about it. All the years of doing this, and all of the people that looked up to me for accomplishing what I accomplished, which was a 200 pound weight loss transformation, a total body transformation in general, all of these people looked up to me and it got to a point where I felt like if I missed a, a meal or I missed a day in the gym or I missed something, I was going to not only upset these people, but more so let them down. And that includes not only my spouse or my wife, um, it, it also included some of my best friends, my personal coach, uh, and, and, and you know people that I hung out with in the gym in general as well. It got to a point where it was just way too stressful and I was way too concerned about what other people thought. I had hundreds and now thousands thousands of people cheering me on through this entire journey. And if I missed a single day, I was so scared that I was going to let those people down. And that ultimately put me in somewhat of a state of depression. Well, I did spend years of my life completing a goal that most people only wish that they could accomplish. I also felt like I lost years of my life by not being able to be a normal human, going out and enjoying things, not being able to go to bars, go to restaurants with my family, eat a normal home-cooked meal, spend time with my kids, because I was so busy either cooking my food, in the gym training, research and studying, or you know doing something else along those lines. The same time all of this stuff's going on, my hormones are also a mess because I've been on PEDs for almost a decade, blasting very high cycles of different anabolics like I've discussed with you guys, you know, and, and mixing those things up and taking risks and putting my health at risk and, you know, my, my mental state wasn't good, my physical state was fine, but inside, inside it wasn't that good. I should have been happy that I accomplished what I accomplished, and I, I really was happy with what I did. But it all boiled up to a point where I had to take a step back and I had to walk away and really consider in my life what is important to me, and it damn sure isn't being in the gym seven days a week. Your health is your number one priority. And it's not just about your health as far as what shows up on blood work, or how high your testosterone levels are, or if your estrogen level's in check. I'm talking about the health that's in your head and it's in your brain and it's more of those mental things that you guys have to deal with because I'm here to tell you guys, I've said this since day one, if you do not take a step back from this and you become too overly developed and too involved in this industry, it's going to eat you alive mentally. You guys may be wondering, do you miss the gym? Yes, I miss the gym. I miss the gym, I miss moving heavy weights, I miss high-fiving other people that are in the gym being motivated and, and moving heavy weights, I miss being on decently good cycles, I miss being vascular and grainy and, and lean and having some upper ab definition, I miss all those things. And at some point, I'm ready to go get it back, right way, without putting my mental health at risk any longer. I feel fantastic outside of the fact that, you know, I wanna be in the gym training. So come January 1st, that's exactly the plan. I'm gonna go back on a small cycle. I'll tell you guys what it is when the time comes. And I'm gonna get my ass back in the gym and start my road again and get down that road and, and really start focusing on my personal physique goals. I think after stepping back for almost a full year from consistently training and being on gear and following a structured meal plan, my mental health now is better than it's ever been in my entire life. I can go back into this now with a completely different mindset. Not the mindset of I'm a fat guy trying to lose weight and trying to change 
change my life. I've already accomplished those things. I can now go into it with the mindset that I'm gonna go back to do things that I enjoy and I'm gonna do them at my own pace and I'm gonna do them under my own rules without needing to follow some step-by-step -step guide of someone else. And I'm ultimately also going to do it without the care of a single person's opinion or feeling the pressure of a single person either. If I wanna take a day off, I'm gonna take a day off and I'm not gonna feel bad about it or beat myself up about it. And I recommend you guys start pursuing that path as well. You guys ultimately might be going through some very similar things that I was going through. If you are sitting back and you are questioning what you're doing, why you're doing it, or if it's even worth it, I'm here to tell you it's not gonna be worth it. And I would highly recommend you guys take a step back and focus on the bigger picture in life. Because remember, you only get one life. There is no redos, start overs, or do overs. Your life is not gonna be over because you decide to step back temporarily from the gym and training and this entire lifestyle. Sometimes you gotta take a step back from the things you enjoy just so that you can relearn how to enjoy them again. And that's exactly what I had to do in order for me to figure out where I wanted to be. I spent years of my life completely dedicated to this sport or hobby or whatever you guys wanna call it. It just got to a point where it became too much. Now I love that I can take a step back and I can give you guys information and I can help you the way that I needed help all those years ago. And this type of video, I hope also helps you and helps you guys realize that sometimes you have to take a break, especially for your mental health and you know, you guys gotta focus on other things that are also important that also bring you joy. If you do not have other things that bring you joy in life outside of the gym, I encourage you to find those things, just like I did. At the end of the day, I am extremely happy with what I have accomplished and I'm extremely happy with what I've learned because it's helped me not only change my life, but it's helped me change thousands of your lives as well. And I'm gonna continue doing that and I'm gonna continue learning and I'm gonna continue growing as a human. Uh, you know, my biggest goal right now is to help as many of you guys as humanly possible and I'm gonna continue doing that as long as I'm on this planet and as long as social media exists. Starting January 1st, I'm getting my ass back in the gym full time, five days a week. I'm gonna train, I'm gonna do my cardio, I'm gonna tighten up, I'm gonna lose a little bit of the body fat that I've accumulated that I didn't really wanna accumulate, and I'm gonna get my stuff back on track, and I'm gonna do it for me this time. I'm not gonna do it because some other person or groups of people feel that I should. When I do do this in January, I'm also gonna keep the most important thing in my focus, which is my family. I'm not gonna run super crazy high cycles of stuff. I'm not going to you know, beat myself up for missing a day or two in the gym every so often or going off my meal plan for a meal either. I really wanna go back into this and refocus and readjust and make sure that I'm doing things the way that I want to do them and I'm not going to let it destroy my mental health any longer. Love you guys and I appreciate you. I'm making this video because I know that there's gonna be some of you guys out there that can relate to what I'm saying or what I'm going through or what I have been going through. But ultimately, this is the biggest reason why I've taken a step back for the past entire year from running any type of major PED cycles or being in the gym full time and following a structured meal plan full time. I've been enjoying my life and sometimes you guys just gotta step back and enjoy yours too. I love you guys again, I appreciate you. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon in the next video.